Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So this is going to be a uh, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius uh, Rising. Weekly tarot reading June uh, 24th to June 30th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump straight away to spread. Okay, so the first card which represents the uh, Sagittarius is topic for the week, that is going to be uh, the Moon card, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that Sagittarius needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be uh, the Star card, followed by the third one which is about the positive aspect of the Sagittarius week, this is going to be the Sun card. And then the last one, which stands for the um, guidance the Tarot is offering to you guys, that will be the Ace of Cups. So once again, the Moon card, it is about the topic, followed by the uh, Star card, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, we do have the Sun card, which is about the, gui uh, the uh, positive aspect. And then the last one, which is about the guidance, that will be the Ace of Cups. Wow, Sagittarius, uh, it looks like that this week is uh, going to be quite positive here. Um, so what happens uh, as a um, cumulative aspect of these cards is that, um, well, I would say it that way, something is going to happen in your life throughout this week, which you are going to see it as something very way too good to be true if i may express myself that way and you are to approach it rather very very skeptical which there is nothing wrong with it don't get me uh, don't get me wrong but it looks like that the thing which happens for you that you are to think is where it's way too good to be true uh it's have that sincerity into it and you don't have to be that suspicious but one way or another one cannot be safe enough you know and it's um when you are kind of like having these doubts, uh, double checking it, it's not gonna hurt at all. So uh, the aspect of the week here, it's the moon card, which represents that insecurity and uncertainty you are going to have about the manifesting uh, either circumstances or an enterprise which is to happen to you. You know, you could be approached by someone that is going to divulge a emotions towards you. You could be uh, approached by your boss, um, accolading you for your uh, for your performance. Although you may not, you you may see that you haven't done anything exceptional. You know, but this is just a thing that you are. Uh, how can I describe it? The way you see the situation is a little bit off the reality, what I say. And the way I want to say it is that you are underestimating yourself. This is what I'm trying to say here. So the moon card points to, like I said, that uh, uncomfortability and as well um, 
insecurity with the way how you are going to take on these uh, new circumstances or that new opportunity coming in your way. Now, the thing with the moon card, however, is that whatever is happening to you throughout the week or whatever is manifesting for you throughout this uh, week, it is definitely something that you do deserve and it is definitely something that you should um, not just only take under consideration, but uh, develop it even further because the moon card, it's, it does says that you should continue on down the road, which is forming uh, for you. The accompanied card here, it's going to be the seven of cups formation. It is a, a passive neutrals that we have. And uh, with, uh, with this combo, it doesn't look like, you know, that you will have to fight for what you deserve. It's, uh, it's simply it's going to be given to you. Maybe, uh, like I said, your expectations of what you deserve is going to be a little bit off. And uh, when, when, when what you deserve is presented to you, you may think, OK, so where, where is the catch? You know, I mean, isn't that a trap? Isn't that something to um, slit you down on the precipitous slope? Well, it isn't. OK, so you have to take with a, a pure heart what is offered to you for throughout the week, either an opportunity to get promoted, you know, an opportunity for a relationship, good time with friends and etc, um, etc. Et it's just the way how these couple of cards could manifest is countless, you know, they can manifest in, like I said, in, in countless varieties. Um, but the thing is that it's going to be a positive, okay? It's going to be a positive thing. It's going to be a very happy, uh, very happy reward and manifestation that you're going to receive. Don't be skeptical about it. And uh, one more thing I want to say, which is into the uh, into the next card here, is that it has a long term of development. So even though you take on it, even though you take advantage of this, you know, enterprise, things aren't going to happen overnight. So the challenge here, uh, the way I see it, is to have a clamorous belief that uh, things are going to get even better than that and things are going to develop even beyond your uh, original expectations. Because the star promises hope, the star promises a, a long-term development, the star promises an and a, uh, how do you say it, finalization of a, a long-term plans. So uh, whenever these new enterprise or circumstances happens to you, which are, um, you know, giving you more for you to uh, more to you to work with, uh, then you have to start planning in the long term. Then you have to start th think about your a, a long term future rather than, you know, just to um, indulge yourself with the things which are for the moment. I hope that I do make sense or the temporary things that are uh, into this week. So if your boss, for example, approaches you with a, a proposition for a, a promotion, you have to think of how you're going to get the next promotion after this one, all right? Instead of just thinking that that is the maximum that you can achieve, if I may uh, express myself that way. Uh, the accompanied card here of the star card is going to be the Ace of Wands. So uh, the formation, it is a uh, active friend. And the Ace of Wands, it does point to this uh, gaining for enterprise that is forming for you guys. It's just everything in these cards screams for a, a huge opening, for a huge breakthrough, for something that is happening to you, Sagittarius, is that is way too good to be believed in. But you got to believe in you have to believe in it you know it is way too good to be true according to your standards but it is true and the only thing that can deprive you from you know taking a not advantage you know but kind of like making it your thing is to believe that you are not worthy for it or uh, that you will not be able to handle it you know it's just an example of it is if your boss op offers you a, a promotion and you are very skeptical that you will be able to handle it. So you turn that offer down or a, a person approaches you with intentions to be in a, in a relationship with you. It's a very handsome person. So you are afraid that you will be able to uh, sustain that relationship. You know, uh, that is normal. I know. I mean, 
you're afraid that someone better than you is going to come around and that person is going to dump you for them or you got to stop thinking that way i mean you just need to take on this opportunity and move along with it or take on this new beginning or new uh like i said gaining for enterprise now that enterprise is going to be a little bit chaotic uh, chaotic excuse me at the start it will involve some uh, readaptation of your behalf as well uh, but uh, ultimately you're gonna get the hang of it very very quickly another thing is for example that let's say that you're jobless and you try to find a job for a very long time and you couldn't and now that dream job of yours comes around so you think oh my god that is very good to be true it just pops up into the newspaper and um, you know you may looking at the requirements you may think that you ain't gonna be able to handle it or that no one is gonna pay attention to you but it's not gonna hurt guys if you apply for it and you will be surprised when you get the call so yeah it's it's about thinking big here uh sagittarius is. so the next card that we have it is the positive aspect for you and that will be the sun card so the sun card it does point that this week it's a week of for, for growth it's because the sun is about these expanding energies of growth it's a it's a a week of vitality it's a week of new conquests as well and it's a week where your life is start to unfold naturally from now on i mean a bit slowly but yet naturally the accompanied card here of the sun is going to be the wheel of fortune and yet another one another card guys that uh, says a an awesome opportunity here so uh what we take from these couple of cards the wheel of fortune and the sun card these are a active supporters and the wheel of fortune it does point that this opportunity comes natural to you what i mean is that you deserve it you work for it and that will be once in a life that will these are going to be the circumstances that will give you once in a lifetime change a change that you can tremendously improve your uh, personal circumstances so if you are jobless it looks like that you are gonna hit the jackpot throughout this week you're single you're gonna hit the jackpot throughout this week the only thing that will keep you off cashing on this uh, on this jackpot is the fear is uh, the um, lack of self-confidence is as well lack of uh, how do you how, how do you say it it's not only self-confidence but as well capability lack of uh, believe that you are capable to catch it and to maintain it as well so don't be afraid it's just whatever it is offered to you Sagittarius take on it and then the last one which we do have that is to be the guidance card and we have the ace of wands uh, ace of uh, cups which is another card showing a uh, new circumstances here because the ace of cups points that you need to take on this new opportunity with uh, or these new circumstances with great amounts of contentment all right and uh, how can i describe a, a, a sensual joy as well because these new circumstances are going to make your current worries completely irrelevant because it's going to be a new beginning for you there is no reason whatsoever you know to bring on your old worries and your old problems into this new beginning of yours it's simple as that and uh, yeah these circumstances as well are going to transcend your re reality into a, a much much more exhilarating and happy one emotionally fulfilled one and the accompanied card here is going to be the devil card so the formation it is a, a passive friends that we have and the devil here points that from now on is everything is everything is in your hands how you're gonna to develop this extraordinary opportunity is up to you but what you need to know is that you do have the power you do have the capabilities as well to force those um, fortunate events and uh, faithful excuse me events in faithful circumstances further down the road you know to shape the outcome of this situation according to your image so that being said sagittarius it looks like a uh, the jackpot week for you guys it, it, it does look like that um it will start a little bit hesitant on your behalf when you're approached with this uh, with these new circumstances maybe you are going to think that it is a, a trap maybe you're going to think that someone wants to to play with you you know or to play you out but that's not the case for what it seems here with the cards and you gotta grasp it with both of your hands and just hold on into it because it does look like that this is the road of your um or to your uh to your success 
So yeah, that being said, this was your weekly tower reading, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.